Cluster has not been a viable Pokemon in competitive singles since Pokemon X and Y. However, in Pokemon Sword and Shield, Cloyster broke the game with the use of one item that made it even rise to the overuse tier for a little bit. It was so broken that the All You Council had to do a complex ban for it that was decided through a quick ban. So how did Cloyster break competitive Pokemon singles? Cloyster has the ability Skill Link. This ability makes it that multi-hit moves always hit the maximum number of times. For an example, the move Rock Blast has a chance to hit 2 to 5 times, and that number is random every time. With this ability, the move would always hit 5 times. This brings me to Cloyster's move pool. Cloyster commonly abuses this ability with the moves Icicle Spear for stamp and Rock Blast for coverage. It can also use Pin Missile, but it wasn't really used that much. Aside from that, Cloyster has access to Shell Smash, which raises its attack, special attack and speed by two stages, while decreasing its defense and special defense by one stage. These moves in combination with Skill Link make Cloyster a threatening sweeper, even though it only has an attack stat of 95, this Icicle Spear and Rock Blast are both 125 base power because of Skill Link. Now Cloyster already had all of that since Generation 5, and nothing really changed throughout the generations. It wasn't until Pokemon Sword and Shield however, that players discovered a new strategy with Cloyster. They started to use the item King's Rock on Cloyster. Now King's Rock is an item that has been in the game for quite a while, and since Generation 5, it grants the holder a chance of 10% to flinch with a move that doesn't already have a chance to flinch. Now King's Rock works on every hit of a multi-hit move. So when Cloyster is equipped with King's Rock and the ability Skill Link in combination with the moves Icicle Spear and Rock Blast, those moves have a total flinch chance of 41%. This made Cloyster very hard to consistently deal with since it could very easily break through its counters with the flinch. I have a clip on my channel where unboosted Clo Pff, Cloyster, yeah, Cloyster beats Melmetal 1 on 1 by flinching it 5 times in a row. With the Shell Smash boost active, Cloyster could do this even easier since it is very hard to outspeed and does have access to Ice Shard for priority in case something does outspeed. As you might understand, this was a very unfair and uncompetitive set that requires no skill and has no reliable counters. Which is why Cloyster plus King Shrock got a complex ban that was done with a quick ban by council vote. And it was even so bad that this set got banned from previous generations as well. If you enjoyed the video or learned something new, consider the like in the video and if you are new subscribe for more competitive Pokemon coverage. Let me know your thoughts about Kings or Cloyster as well and thank you for watching.